Good evening, Elizabeth, Francisco, Jose Enrique, and Martial. Thank you for being on time. Good evening, Chair. Good evening, Elizabeth. How are you doing so far today? Is everything okay? Did you have a good day? Yes, I I have a good day. It's nice to hear that. And the rest of you, how are you doing? Are you already at home or are you still driving? Okay, thank you so much for confirming, Emerson. You're driving home, drive safe. Uh, I see that Vidal and Jose also said that they just like listener. Okay, um, thank you for letting me know. I hope that you get home safe. And whenever you're ready to participate, it's more than welcome. Let me share my screen with you. Uh, we're going to continue where we stopped yesterday. We were uh, discussing about uh, marketing, marketing strategies, also about um, shopping. And we have a vocabulary and a speaking exercise here about shopping experiences. We're going to match the expressions with their meaning as the expressions are numbered from one to eight. Who wants to read the expressions? A volunteer to read the expressions? Okay, I will read them for you since I guess that you're not able to participate yet. So, um, uh, shopping experiences, uh, vocabulary, we have the expressions. Number one, go over your credit limit. Number two, be a bargain hunter. Number three, be a compulsive shopper. Number four, have buyer's remorse. Number five, make an impulsive buy. Number six, bid on an item. Number seven, go on a shopping spree. Number eight, go window shopping. And then we have the meanings. They are from A to H. I volunteer to read. Elizabeth, thank you. Okay. Have regrets after making a unwise purchase, be unable to comfort your need to buy things, buy something suddenly without having planned to, spend lots of money shopping for pleasure, look at good in stores without buying any, be a person who looks for low priced products, Charge more to your credit card than the allowed amount. Offer money to buy an item at an at auction. 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 Yes, auction. Thank you so much for reading. Now, what we have to do is to match the expressions with the meaning. Number one, it's already done as an example. We have go over your credit limit. The meaning of this expression is letter G. Charge more to your credit card than the allowed amount. Okay. If you don't have the material printed, you can just write the numbers and the letters in your notebooks. I'll give you time and you let me know if you have any question or when you're ready.
teacher, what it means bargain, bargain, bargain. So the number two. Uh, bargain is um, una ganga, una ganga. And uh -huh. beat, beat on an item. And one number? Six. Number six. Oh, beat on an item. Es, es cuando algo está en subasta y usted hace, ofrece una cantidad de dinero para comprar ese, ese item. Okay. Mm -hmm. And... And the number seven, spree. The shopping spree is, is like um, number seven, go on a shopping spree uh, is um, letter D. It spends lots of money shopping for pleasure. Es como ir solo por, como una parranda a comprar, solo por gastar dinero. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay.
Okay, I see that some of you have written the answers in the chat. So number two, be a Bergen hunter. Yes. That is correct. Can you read it, please? Yes. Uh, be a bargain hunter is F. Be a person who looks for low price products. Excellent. Thank you so much, Alexandra. Number three, be a compulsive shopper. Volunteer for number three, be a compulsive shopper. A little bit, teacher. That is correct, Mariel. Can you read it, please? Okay. Be able to control your need to buy things. Excellent. Thank you so much, Magdiel. Number four. A volunteer for number four. Number four, Alex, thank you. Okay, number four, have buyer's remorse. Is letter A, have regrets after making an unwise purchase. Excellent, have regrets after making an unwise purchase. Excellent, thank you so much for reading, Alex. And number five, volunteer. Volunteer for number five, yes. Make an impulse impulse buy. A, have regrets after making an unwise purchase. Um, that was have buyer's remorse. Oops, it's C, sorry, sorry, sorry. Make an impulsive buy, see, buy something suddenly without having planned to. Excellent, it's correct. Thank you so much, Alexandra. So number five, it's letter C. Thank you. Uh, number six, volunteer, bid on an item. Letter H. That is correct, Carla. Can you read it, please? Okay. Offer money to buy an item in an auction. In an auction. Excellent. Thank you so much. Uh, seven, go on a shopping spree. I, I gave you that answer so that you have the meaning of this, uh, which is D. Um, it is a spend a lot of money shopping for pleasure. Uh, and finally, number eight, go window shopping. A volunteer for number eight. Uh, me, teacher. Thank you. It's letter, letter E, look at goods in stores without buying any. Excellent. That is correct. Thank you so much, Emerson. So, um, Look at goods in the store without buying anything. That's go window shopping. Great. So um, now in group, we're going to discuss exercise B. Which of these experiences related to shopping have you had? Share your experiences with the group and use the expressions in part A, the ones that we already defined, where appropriate. For example, you made an impulsive buy, you resisted buying something you wanted, or you bought something and later wish you hadn't. And we have an example there. I am usually a bargain hunter, but this outfit looked so good on the store mannequin that I just had to buy it.
to you have to discuss, for example, if you made an impulsive buy, that would be that that you um it's in letter C as you see, you buy something that without have plan to, like for example, um uh in my case, I have disabled uh, notification from my email, uh, especially the promotions, because if I see something is like like with a uh, discount from my favorite store, I tend to be a compulsive shopper. And then at the end, I end up with um, with buyer's remorse. I said, how am I going to pay for all those things? <laughs> so yes, uh, maybe something similar happened to you. You can share the your experience in group using the expressions that we have in part eight. Is it clear what we're going to do? Yes, to share your experiences and try to use the expressions in part eight as you have the example. Ready? We're going to create the breakup room. But before this, I'm going to clear the buttons. So let's practice the beacon. Just uh, let me create the room. There we are. Hi. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. Do you have some experience about a boy buy something? impulsive or something like that? Well, in my case, let me tell us, uh, I upload an uh, app, uh, the name uh, of this app is Vitrinea, and always this um, company send me mails and messages um, with discounts, and in this week, I get a promotion with around a uh, fifty percent uh, discounts in all uh, clothes in their app and I buy some um, t-shirts um, and I buy uh, shoes too and I know was a impulsive buy because I, this buy is, uh, I don't have in my uh, presupuesto, it's average. No, no, no. Jet. Um, but yes, it's, uh huh. I'm sorry, yeah. budget. Uh -huh. Okay, this buy, uh, I don't have in my budget, but I'm very happy with my new clothes. Okay. 
that's the important thing that you feel happy because it is it is works if at the end you feel remorse and you are like oh my god I'm so sorry about what I did. Now how am I going to pay? Maybe I will have to um, reduce some uh, groceries shopping or doing things, extra work to pay for that. So at the end, if you are happy, that's great. <laughs> that's that, important. I'm happy. <laughs> that's the important thing that you are happy. And the rest of you? And how do you say, eh, how do you say estrenar? Like, ya tengo nuevo estreno. <laughs> no, you just say, like, I have something new to wear. I have new clothes to wear. Okay, I'm happy because I have new clothes to wear. Or you say, I have new out outfits. I have new outfits. <laughs> Yes, that's nice. So I'm running in the chat. I don't know if you are able to see the 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 word that we were talking about, like budget, outfit. And yes, it is important to renew our closet outfit. So yes, that's nice. I have to go to the other room because they are asking for help. So um, the rest of you guys, Remember that it is important for you to practice your speaking, and that's the idea of the breakout rooms. I'll be back. Hello. Um, can you hear me clearly? I'm sorry. Can you hear me clearly? Because it's raining. So, so. <laughs> I can understand you, but yeah, it, it sounds like it's, it is raining. <laughs> of yeah. your shopping experience or habit? Uh, I was telling the group that I have the bias remorse. But this happened when I go to the supermarket and I only go without uh, a list of things that I had to buy. So I only go to the market and I said, okay, I need this, I need that. And when I get home back home, when I get back home, I realized that I already had this item. So, oh man. I, I now I have two of the same thing. So I have the bias remorse. Yeah, yeah because you end up uh, buying unnecessary things for your uh, groceries. And then maybe there were some things that you didn't buy and that you really need. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So it's sort of right. So I don't know the the others. Uh -huh. uh, Alex, what do you have? Uh, well, you can share about your habits or shopping experience. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Well, you made an impulsive buy. Maybe it wasn't an impulsive buy, but I think sometimes that maybe I could wait <laughs> a little time before buying it, uh, it was when I bought my first car. Um, I just uh, watched um, almost three cars, maybe. It, it wasn't a lot, uh, it weren't a lot. And, but when I saw this car, I thought that it was perfect to me. So I buy it and well, after that, I, I realized that the car had uh, a lot of uh, 
uh, troubles or things that maybe I I didn't check um, so well. So maybe I I had regrets sometimes, but <laughs> I don't know. For me, maybe I could wait a little time before. Yeah, but I didn't. Um, I had to pay for that, yeah, uh, most mm, too much money than I wanted. Um, so maybe I I was a confused shopper that that time. And let me see when I resisted to buying something I wanted. And maybe it was the last December because I actually really I I really wanted to buy a Nintendo Switch, but I <laughs> I didn't buy it because um, I told that maybe I could invest my money in something different. Uh, I thought that even maybe play video games it could be. Um, Like uh, like a lot of the time, maybe uh, it could focus me on in my in my work or studies. So I didn't buy it. Um, uh, and when I bought something uh, later, I wish. I hadn't, um, let me see, maybe, um, maybe just sometimes when I buy fast food, <laughs> even always that I, I buy fast food, I regret, I regret it um, almost suddenly. <laughs> um, I think that um, maybe it wasn't necessary. Uh, I, I can get my stomach uh, full, but uh, my wallet uh, does um, your wallet empty, full stomach, yeah, but, empty wallet. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's true. So, and maybe the most of the time that uh, purchase is the is uh, are the things that I regret <laughs> buy. <it>. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, but uh, I guess that with those experience, you learn to think before you buy something to maybe double check in the market if there's something yeah. better you learn from that experiences i guess yeah it is um, very educational <laughs> yeah yes and it depends on some well it depends because it it happens uh kind of a couple of years ago i, I was a compulsive shopper but yes, <laughs> now I am in a, in a rehab process. <laughs> More important. What about the rest of you? I'm going to go and check the other room. Continue. You're doing a great job. Finish here.
Okay, so uh, we're going to check attendance before we continue with the next part. Um, remember that, well, sometimes, and uh, for some reason, I have many people who is here just as listener. If you are in one group that it has a lot of people that is not participating or you are the only one that is participating, you can ask me to, to get you into another group, to move you to another group. Uh, you can write me in private so that you can have the chance to practice with some other people that is um, it's in a, a, an interaction, uh, actively interacting with the rest of the participants since the, the idea of making this kind of activities is for you to practice your speaking, which is important. Otherwise, it's going to get rusty. Are you going to get rusty or you're not going to be able to improve or it's going to be more difficult if you don't practice it? So that is the point. And if for some reason you are in one group that nobody participates for A or B reason, you can ask me to um, get you to another room or to exchange you to another room because uh, sometimes I am checking one room and um, and you are probably alone in one other group. I, I see the people is there, they join the room, but they do not participate. So um, sometimes I, um, I I don't realize about the situation. So you can text me and say, teacher, uh, nobody's participating here. Can, I, can you move me to another group? And I will be more than happy to help you with that. Being said that, we're going to check attendance. So please say present when you hear your names. Abigail Elizabeth Flores. Present. Thank you. Alex Enrique Lemus. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Emilio Cotto. Present teacher. Thank you. Cecilia Noemi Ramos. Elizabeth Stephanie Vasquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Emerson Alexander Lopez. Present teacher. Francisco Ernesto Acuña. Present teacher. Gertrudis Aymara Vaquerano. Guadalupe Alexandra Calixto. Present. Thank you. Hazel Vanessa Menjiva. Jose Enrique Pineda. Present. Yulisa Yamilet Vialta. Carla Ivania Anaya. Present teacher. Luis Javier Castillo. Magdiel Esaú García. Present, Miss. Thank you. Manuel Alexander Vázquez. Thank you. Marilyn Alejandra Grande. Present. Thank you. Mario Ernesto Ramirez. Melanie Alexandra Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you. Victor Noé Bonilla. Vidal Pyron Ruiz. Present teacher. Thank you. William Alexander Rosales. Present teacher. Thank you. 
Okay, let me. Okay, Aymara, it's just listening. Thank you so much for confirming that you are here. Um, Carla, thank you so much for letting me know you're still working. And Yulisa, okay, thank you so much for letting me know that you're still on the way home. I'm going to take notes of that. Thank you, Aymara. Okay, I'll continue sharing next activity. Okay, let's make this bigger. Oh, why is the name here? Let me start again, it's like stop. Mm. Okay, um, the next, next activity that you have here in the presentation is this discussion. Are you a compulsive shopper? Uh, it is a pay work, but, um, well, it is difficult to make payers here since some people is not able to participate for different reasons. Um, so we're going to do this in group. Uh, which statements are true for you? Choose yes or no for each statement, and then we're going to discuss the answers in the group. Or we can ask and do this together and say, I can never go shopping without making an impulsive buy. Is that your case? Yes or no? And you answer. Number two, I often buy things that I end up never wearing or using. That happens. <laughs> so you say if it is yes or no for you. Uh, and you can uh, uh, decide that the uh, dynamic that you're going to have in the group. If one of you is going to be reading uh, for you, like, um, and you answer yes or no, and you give a little bit more uh, details about it. And then the person reading also can um, talk about his or her experience, discussing the question and sharing the ideas. Um, and then you can go ahead and discuss the question. What are some other characteristics of a compulsive shopper? What other problems do compulsive shoppers face? What do you think? What would you do to help a compulsive shopper? You're going to, um, after you discuss the part A, you're going to complete the part B, and you can do that in groups. And you can take notes so that at the end, we're going to share here in the main section. And let me stop sharing so that you can work in group. Remember that for some, if for some reason you are in a group that, where people is not able to participate, you can chat me um, private so I can move you to a different group. And in that way, you will be able to complete your exercises and practice. Sorry, teacher, no, when I have a question. Mm -hmm. We are gonna, I'm sure, uh, with our own information. Uh, yeah. Let's see, uh, let's explain again. Let me share. Okay, it is a two-part exercise. Okay. In part A, yes, um, you're going to give your own response, the information about you. Uh, for example, I read the number one. I can never go shopping without making an impulse buy. Is that yes or no for you, Magdiel? I can never go shopping without making an impulse buy. No. No. Well, in my case, it is no at this point of my life. But, but if, years if, ago, yes, it happened. <laughs> but if I go to Dollar City, 
always buy other things. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So it depends on the place, but most of the time it is yes. no for you. Yes, yeah, that's right. Okay, that is the same for me. Okay, that is what you're going to do in the group. You're going to share if it's yes or no, one of you is going to read or you take turns reading and then you say yes or no. And then when you finish the part A, you're going to move to part B. And in group, you're going to discuss the three questions that you have here. And you write the response or you get into agreement and write the response as you as a group. What do you think? Uh, what are some other characteristics of a compulsive shopper? Uh, you can say, oh, it's people that shop without thinking consequences. Um, they, they are usually people who suffer from depression, maybe. And you discuss in groups and take notes of your answer for number one. Then you move and discuss what other problems do compulsive shopper face? What is your opinion in the group? And you might say, oh, well, I think that these people is usually have uh, difficulties to pay the credit card bills. Uh, yes, another problem. And you are taking notes of your, you make like a brainstorm. And then you share your answer as a group with in the main section. Sorry, teacher. What is the difference um, between compulsive and impulsive? Uh, that is a good question. <laughs> um, I think that the, the compulsive is, is like a, like a blind person, right? You just do it, yes? Like you, you don't feel any anything before and you just do it. But if you feel the impulse, maybe you feel something that invites you to do something, but maybe you, you think a little bit about it. And a compulsive person, don't think, don't even think for a second. Um, do you have any other question? No more question, teacher. Thank you so much. Yeah, are the instructions or that part A and B clear? It's a clear. Okay. Uh, let me create a break at once. Yes. yes. Yes, I can see. Yeah, okay. Okay, the, the second one. I often buy things that I end up never wearing or using. No, 
For me, no. Me neither. Second one for you is no. 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 <clears throat> okay, the third. At home, I frequently feel tempted to go online and buy something. <laughs> That's uh, yes. You buy online? Mm, no, I only. <laughs> Solo ando viendo. <laughs> Windows shopping. <laughs> we Windows shopping. shopping. That's right. Go Windows shopping. In my case, when I board in my house, um, I try to search some discounts or something like I need. Yeah, well, uh, lastly, I... I start checking uh, cell phones or screens for the sale, but checking out a, a lot of stores. And when I see a, a good price, I only say that that ad, that advertising, but I never shop. <laughs> I watch I watch marketplace in Facebook and the price of car, other things, but without money. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yes, the movie at... is watch a lot of time marketplace. Yeah, or maybe uh, looking for uh, good prices for for a, for a trip for a travel, but you know only, yes. only checking prices <laughs> in the when... in the madrugada. Yeah, in earlier in the... earlier in the morning when I can sleep. I search travels. <laughs> Sometimes I do that too. <laughs> I feel relieved that I'm not the only person who put things in the shopping cart and never buys them. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Okay, well, the uh, number four. Um, when I visit a new city, I spend most of my free time shopping. Mm, maybe no always doing oh window uh, window shopping right. I'll be back no in my, my case neither and when I visit a new city I prefer to visit museums or something attractive but i don't spend a lot of, a lot of time in shopping yes my kids so do i <clears throat> i prefer visit other place okay the next it's one safe. um no. I always have buyer's remorse after going on a shopping spree. Um, in my case, mm, mm, no. I think I don't have remorse when I sh uh, buy something, except when, for example, the experience I, I um, conté. Ay, no sé cómo se dice, conté. I share las... lo que compartí. Ah, I okay. share. Puede utilizar share. O I, okay. I told you, o la que le dije, o I told you about. Ok, the experience that I share. Um, oh. In this uh, week, I buy uh, some new clothes because I, the page... In online give me a discounts a very good discounts then for a minute I feel the remorse like ah my budget <laughs> but in another um buy in another buy that, that I do no I feel very good in and another in purchase I in another purchase uh -huh. I feel in control 
Uh, in my case, I, I have buyer remorse uh, when when buy a uh, Is everything okay here in this in this room? Yes, teacher. Yeah. We are uh, working on the first part. Oh, you're still working on the first part. Okay, good. Okay, so I'm um, finished. Let me know when you finish too. I finish. I have finished already. Okay, so in the part B, this they discuss these questions, then share your ideas with the class. So the number one says, well, what are some other characteristics of a compulsive shopper? What do you think? Uh, maybe the, they have uh, uh, a lot of, when well, they ask to friends or, or people that they uh, are known for known for money so they buy to anything. Okay. Uh, 
Yeah, that could be. They buy things that they don't need. Okay, the second one. What other problems do compulsive shoppers face? Maybe the lack of money. <laughs> yes. Yes. I think they don't have enough money for for the things that they really need. Yeah, because they spend it in things that they don't need. Uh, yes. Okay. The last one. What will you do to help a compulsive shopper? Uh. Well, uh, for me, When I, I don't know what's 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 but I, I seldom buy buy it. But I love uh, watch this price or discount. Sometimes when I go to Bidri or Freon looking for one single tool or one only thing, I go to every single um Pasillo, aisle, creo que es, aisle, watching things, things for my car or some tools, <laughs> like a, you know, window shopping, window shopper. I only think, well, this look, this will be good in my house. I can use this. I can use that. <laughs> and this place are there. There are um, uh, racing area for the cars. I love it. <laughs> yeah, I love to. Uh, yeah, you know, maybe it's not to forget my troubles, but I like spending time in those places. Yeah. Okay, uh, the next part. What are some other characteristics of a compulsive shopper. In my case, I consider myself a compuls compulsive uh, Windows shopper, but another characteristics that I think maybe a person with problems can convert a compulsive shopper to solucionate a uh, or maybe try to calm their thoughts. Yes. 
also I think um, there are many people when when have uh, money in your hand in your hands um they go they go to shop and and spend quickly I know people that when they have maybe they don't have money but they want to go to shop they start to selling things from their home you know some i i knew a, a guy that he buys a tv then uh, two months later he sold that tv to buy a a, a, a well, equipo de sonido <laughs> and some things like that he, he buys he buys things and then sold these things to buy another new things <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it, it is a problem and about what Magdiel was asking um, about the difference between um, impulsive and compulsive right yeah a compulsive is worse. It's as I was telling you. Um, I encontré una, pero no puedo compartir ahorita. O si puedo, le voy a dejar un ratito. Okay. So, so you can have a better idea. Lo que le decía, eh, eh, los impulsivos a veces tal vez lo piensan un poco. Y los compulsivos no lo piensan. Es un problema más serio el compulsivo que el impulsivo. Eh, um, y aquí está el artículo que encontré para que tal vez les ayude un poquito más. Um, that the important distinction between a compulsive shopping and impulsive buy lies in the internal motivation or reason of making the purchases. While impulsive buying is largely on plane and happens in reaction to an external trigger, such as seeing a decided item in chunks, compulsive shopping is more inwardly motivated. Eh, el, el impulsivo, tal vez hay algo que le, que le dispara, el impulso de compra como que es algo que sí lo quiero, o es cuando y puedo, lo piensan un poco y lo hacen, y no es de siempre. Entonces, los compulsivos no lo piensan, y es siempre... Eh, 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 dice es, es más que los compulsivos no lo piensan y es un problema ya más eh, frecuente, mientras que el impulsivo es de vez en cuando que le, le siente ese impulso por alguna razón, por algo que le dispara el, 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 el impulso y compra, vea, como decir Dios, hoy es cuando yo puedo tener ese vestido, costaba 90 dólares y ahorita está solo en 35 y lo compro, porque Black eso Friday. Ajá, hay algo que dispara, hay algo que le, le, le dispara el, 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 el impulso de comprar y lo hace. Y no es de siempre, es, tiene que haber una motivación. En cambio con el compulsivo, no. Y es, es, el compulsivo es el que tiende a tener más consecuencias negativas que el, el impulsivo. Como, eh, por ejemplo, aquí están algunos efectos, creo que es una, una pregunta. Uh, may include running into financial difficulties, having arguments with family members, and experiencing problems with work. Entonces, esta gente, los, los que compran eh, eh, de, eh, como consecuencia de, eh, para los compulsivos, eh, los problemas son más graves. Pueden tener eh, dificultades financieras porque como es algo de siempre, no es algo que de vez en cuando pasa. Entonces, eh, tener discusiones con los miembros de la familia, experimentar problemas con el trabajo y tal vez hasta con gente que les han dicho, presta, han llegado a prestar dinero para seguir su hábito de, de comprar compulsivamente. Entonces, esta gente sí pueden incluir también eh, eh, en que esto es algo como un comportamiento adictivo es como una adicción el, el compulsivo porque de siempre es una adicción mientras que el impulsivo es de vez en cuando y tiene que haber algo que le dispare 
el, el deseo de, de, de hacer una compra o algo por impulso, y lo cual al ser algo que pasa de vez en cuando es más fácil solucionar el problema del pagar, ¿verdad? Entonces es un poquito más fácil que algo que es un, una dificultad eh, como, un, eh, como una adicción. Entonces un compulsivo puede incluso llegar a requerir ayuda profesional de algún psicólogo o algo así. So that is the difference. El, el compulsivo es, es un problema mayor. Entonces eso mm -hmm. les puede ayudar para sus ideas, para que sigan desarrollando sus ejercicios. Y tal vez ya queda un poquito más claro lo que Magdiel preguntaba. Yes, teacher. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You're welcome. You can continue sharing. And thank you for allowing me to share. Thank you. Well, this is the next question says Okay, we are ready to begin. We can start with uh, the people from room number one. You can share the what you discussed in part B. 
So we're not going to share part eight. It was just um, the, like the warm up for you to discuss the part B. So now we're going to share what you have um, in part B, your answers for part B, the three questions that you have there. And in room number one, we had Emerson, Jose, Carla, um, Carlos, Elizabeth, Guadalupe, Luis Javier, Magdiel, and Marilyn. Okay, uh, in the part A, what are your, your shopping habits? Um, for the first one, I can never go shopping without making an impulse buy. Uh, we all agree to no. Okay. Um... Number two. <clears throat> but I uh, think only part B we need to share. Or... Yes, only the part B. Oh, oh, sorry. Okay. Okay. Okay, the first one says, uh, what are some other characteristics of a compulsive shopper? Uh, well, the characteristic, it maybe could be um, that this person always looking for some uh, money, but in not the, uh, the right uh, right way to getting money to buy things. Sometimes they, uh, uh, they are robbing to people or selling the things from their house to buy new things. And also selling things that they know from, the, from that person, that compulsive person. Maybe selling things from about his mother, his father, only to get money and buy new things. And another characteristic of a compulsive shopper can be they uh, feel anxiety, anxiety uh, when uh, they receive money. For example, when they receive uh, the salary, uh, they need to buy something because they uh, feel the anxiety to, to buy. Yes, probably they suffer from anxiety. Mm -hmm. Continue. Uh, the second is what other problems do compulsive shoppers face. Uh, we discuss about problems with the family, with friends, because maybe this kind of person may lie all the time about the price uh, of the products or the clothes or all things, because maybe they want to avoid problems, but with the people or the family or the friends uh, knows the truth, uh, they have a uh, big, big problems. Emerson? Uh, about, the, about the number three, uh, we think uh, we could help them with um, Psychology, go into psychology to 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 speak about this this problem. I think the, this could be a good option. Only that teacher. Okay, excellent. You did a very very good job discussing the questions, your answers were really accurate. You did an excellent job and a very complete analysis of them. Excellent, thank you so much for sharing. Okay, now let us listen to room number two people, um, including in this room were Victor Bonilla, Vidal, 
Manuel, Alex, Aymara, Elizabeth, Francisco, and William. I think that, uh huh, Alex. Yeah, well, we were talking about uh, some characteristics of compulsive shopper, uh, like they don't care about the future, or they don't think if, they don't think if they need something before buying it. Um, Maybe that they have psychological uh, troubles uh, because they are in the pursuit of something that they try to fill with material things. And what other problems do compulsive shoppers face? And uh, it could be the the lack of money, uh, even that they they bring troubles to their families, um, people the people close to them. Um, well, every trouble that they have, um, uh, could be dangerous. <clears throat> uh, what will you do to have a compulsive shopper? Maybe talk to them, try to hear them, um maybe look for some therapy or courses that it could help in and that it could help to to fix them. Okay, so um, you did a very nice job. It's like a, um, you were considering a professional help for compulsive shoppers, and you, you said um, many important things that defend uh, that this is a, a, a very big problem. As uh, Magdiel was asking, what is the difference between a, an impulsive and a compulsive? A compulsive is a very, very big problem. Because as you mentioned, Alex, yes, they can run into financial issues. And also with uh, family members and friends, they, they might get in trouble because of uh, they are always um, looking for a way to get um, money to shop things that just because they 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 feel then the need it's like an addiction we were discussing is it it's like an addiction so professional help is a good option for to help them so thank you so much for sharing what you discussed you did a very nice job thank you so much okay to continue with this um let's uh Let's move to the next slide. So just let me make this bigger. Mm. Let 
too far is Okay, um, this is the discussion we already did. So we're going to move to the next slide. And here, let me make it bigger. Okay, we're going to be using the correct form of the expressions from the box to complete the text that we have here. For example, in number one, it says, is a bargain hunter. We have here B, a bargain hunter, but we are using the correct form and we conjugate the verb B into is. Since we need to read it here. Uh, did you ever notice how people have different shopping styles? We have different shopping style. My mom has always been price conscious and is a bargain hunter. So, as we are talking about the mother, we conjugate the verb be into is and complete the phrase. It is a, she is a bargain hunter. Um, and we continue reading. Whenever there is a cell that she comes through everything. So uh, read and use the expressions from the box and try to write them properly according to what we are reading in the text. And we have make an impulsive buy, go window shopping, be a compulsive shopper, have buyer's remorse, go over her credit limit, and be a bargain hunter. It's been already used. And we're going to use the expression just once, meaning that we're, we're not going to use this anymore. Be a bargain hunter since it's been already used. So read and uh, you can write the number and the uh, and the expression that completes. For example, you write number one is a bargain hunter and then you continue reading and write in your notebook number two and the correct expressions. I'll give you time and let me know when you finish.
finished, teacher. Okay, good. Can you read? Um, let's see. We stop in is our bargain hunter. Can you continue reading and giving the answer for number two? Whenever there is a sale. Yes, whenever there is a sale, she comes through everything, looking for the lowest prices. On the other hand, my friend Maggie doesn't even look at price tag and buys everything inside. She just can control her, her urge to shop. She definitely have Bodger's remorse. No, no, no. No, sorry, sorry. She definitely is a compulsive shopper. Excellent. That is the answer for number two. She is, she definitely is a compulsive shopper. Thank you so much. A uh, volunteer to continue. She often. Thank you, Alex. She often spends more than the bank allows on her credit card, but doesn't worry about. Uh, I don't know if it's, it's correct, but I, I wrote going over her credit limit. That is correct. Excellent, Alex. Because there is about is a preposition, so the bird it must be with gerund form about mm -hmm. going. Excellent. Thank you so much. Uh, volunteer to continue now. Me, teacher. Thank you, Emerson. Now, my sister Shelly has a totally different shopping style. She drives me insane because she never buys anything. She prefers to go in window shopping. She prefers to go to go excellent in infinity she prefers to go window shopping thank you so much um volunteer to continue just peering volunteer Uh, me teacher, um, just peering uh, the displays of the latest fashions. Crazy, right? But for me, I have to admit that at times I had the urge to go on a shopping spree. Shopping is all about have fun, having fun. I recently don't play to buy three pairs of shoes, but all of all of a sudden there they are me in me shopping back. Okay, I admit to uh make an impulsive buy every once in a while. Yes, um so number five, admit to uh, make an impulsive buy. Excellent. That's correct. Thank you so much. Um, now, volunteer to continue every once in a while. That's easy. Volunteer to continue every once in a while. But I confess, me teacher. Thank you, Michael. Where, where is? But I confess the last part here. But I confess. Okay. But I confess that I. I... Uh, it's the last one that go we over miss. that Papa. I go over my credit limit. Go over um, my credit. 
No, ya usamos cover her credit limit. Ya se utilizó. Bueno, ya se usaron todas menos esta. Have a buyer's remorse. Okay. Oops, but, sorry. <laughs> but I confess that I have buyer remorse on occasion and end up returning things. There's only so much room in my closet. Okay, very good. And in number six, el verbo tenía que ir en pasado porque es, está, confieso que tuve. I had buyer's remorse one occasion and end up returning things. Okay. Thank okay. you so much for your sure. participation. Thank you. All right. Um, let's see. Uh, do you have any question about this reading part? No? Uh, no, I just, one word, pe peering. It says just peering. Just peering is, is like it's solo mirando, solo observando. Mm -hmm. mm. Solo mirando, just peering. Okay. Mm -hmm. And oh, here's another, in the third line, she comes through everything. I know comb is when I comb my hair, right? Uh-huh. Yes. So, oh, it? yeah. Yeah, yeah, you got it. It says, yeah, my, my mother used to, to do that. She combed through every single thing. She was patient, checking one by one every single thing in the story. So I said, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got it. <laughs> right. Um, any other? Okay, um, nice that you're having um, uh, like a learning more vocabulary and you're increasing it, so that's nice. So just keep on practicing that new vocabulary, take notes about it, and uh, we will move. Then read the situations. This is, I think, the last exercise for tonight. Maybe we'll be able to finish it. It says read the situations and then choose the correct ending to make a true sentence. Mm -hmm. um, so we have number one, that actress made a commercial for a new floral perfume. She makes a point of saying that she wears it in real life. The perfume maker, and we have two options, A, and B, the perfume maker is offering a comparative marketing program or the perfume maker must think a celebrity endorsement will increase sales. Which of the two options you, you think that it can, can complete or can be the correct ending for the sentence one? A or B, which one completes it better? B. B, that is correct. Thank you so much, Alexandra. So yes, uh, for sentence letter B is the one that completes number one to make a true sentence. So thank you so much for your happiness with the first example. So number one, Letter B. Let's read number two, three, and four, and let me know which of the two options complete every of these sentences better, as we did in number one. Take your time, read, and then we we'll check.
Okay, finished. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. Great. Uh, so, Emerson, which sentence complete best the number two? A or B? Letter B. Letter, letter, letter A, sorry. A, yes, that is correct. So the sentence will be every time the main character of that sitcom has breakfast, viewers can currently see the brand name of the box of cereal on the table. That cereal company is using a product placement strategy. That is correct. Thank you so much. Um, Alexandra, what about number three? I'm not sure, but I think it's A, a loyalty program. Excellent, that's correct, a loyalty program. And finally, number four, a volunteer for number four. Uh, me, teacher. Thank you, Martin. When consumers search for smartphone features and prices, one brand keep popping up. As part of this marketing strategy, the smartphone companies using uh, letter B, a search engine marketing. Excellent, that's correct. Uh, thank you so much for your participation, Emerson and Alexandra. Um, do you have any question, vocabulary? Uh, con I don't know, con consumers or consumers? Consumers. A consumer, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, uh, that's the last exercise for tonight. Remember to work on the platform, section one, section two, and the midterm exam. And I hope to use sleep well and see you tomorrow. Have a good rest. Okay, see you tomorrow. See, see you, see you. Tomorrow. sleep well. Sleep well, teacher. Have a good night. Thank you.